catch the latest news on our website, tribune.net.ph, and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel, Tribune Now. The Daily Tribune is one with the nation in facing the COVID-19 crisis, and in line with this, the Daily Tribune Digital Edition on Press Reader is now available for free online. You can also download the Daily Tribune app on Apple Store for iOS users and Google Play for Android users to get the latest and most comprehensive news online. Daily Tribune is also inviting everyone to join its community Viper Katribu to get updates on the freshest and hottest news and entertainment stories of the day. Tarsito emoticons are also available on our community Viber. Just click on the link in this video to join. Hello everyone and Katribu. I am Giorgio Silvestre. And I am Vernon Velasco. And welcome to Straight, Straight Talk. Talk. This morning we have a very special guest. Mm -hmm. He is a city mayor, but he's not just one of those city mayors that we know. Mm -hmm. Our city mayor is a TOIM awardee, mm -hmm. 10 Outstanding Young Men awardee for good governance, of course. And because he's young, he's very progressive, he knows his technology. He has made his city the smartest city, the first smart city in the Philippines. May I present to you the mayor of Kawayan City, Isabella, Mayor, Honorable Mayor Bernard D. Kumusta po kayo, Mayor? Good morning, Mayor. Morning, uh, Sir John John and Bernard, and sa lahat ng mga katribu. Uh, good morning to all our uh, viewers. Uh, hello. Apo. Mabuti naman at ang una ninyong inisip yung, uh -huh. yung, ano ba yun? You call that wiring or basta high-tech kayo, ano? So, Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi, ano, and all that. So, ano nga ba? Ano po yun, Mayor? What's this smart city all about? Uh -huh. Explain well, nyo sa amin. Yeah, basically, smart city is a, a, a term that is used um, globally mm -hmm. that basically harnesses and uses technology to um, provide better and more efficient service to the people. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's exactly what we did. Uh, we all know that technology is already here to stay and uh, it's like the new oil. Uh, without technology, um, you know, there's so many things that we're losing on. So uh, as early as our first term during 2013, we already <coughs> Um, recognize uh, that technology will definitely make people's lives better. Uh, by having that in mind, uh, we really took advantage uh, of all the available technology out there. Um, and one of the things we did was we really partnered or collaborated with the Department of Science and Technology. Uh, dahil po DOST yung talagang uh, uh, agency that's responsible for uh, for you know all these uh, new technologies that uh, uh, especially Filipino uh, invent inventions and Filipino innovations so they were the best uh, collabor collaborations that we had that time ano po ibig sabihin nun napapabilis napapa efficient ang inyong mga transactions ano po ang epekto nun sa yeah, when you talk about smart cities, uh, it can be as uh, complicated as having sensors in all your city streets that can measure your foot traffic, that can measure um, uh, activity. You can have um, uh, as complex as uh, having ordinances passed in the city that allow robots to roam around the streets. Mm -hmm. Or it can be as simple as uh, informing the farmers if it's going to rain or not. It has the same oh, impact. Okay. It has the same um, uh, positive impact on the individual. So these are some of the things that uh, we have been doing in the city of Kauaian. And, um, you know, that's uh, one of the things we take pride on, on how a uh, poor city, we're the poor city in here in Region 2, mm. and uh, we're in a highly ag agricultural and rural setting, and yet we do a smart city approach. Mm. So that's something that uh, we, we take pride on, on uh, on how if, if, if us, a city like us, highly agricultural, rural setting, can do smart city initiatives, mm -hmm. then there's no reason for other local government units mm -hmm. not to be able to do it. Mm -hmm. How did you reconcile it, Mayor? Uh, you said that you're the first smart city and uh, at the same time, you're the poorest. Uh, how did you reconcile it? How agile your constituents in adapting it? 
Well, uh, the, the adaptation is uh, a continuing challenge. So up to now, we still have that challenge uh, because every now and then we have new technology that's coming up. Mm -hmm. But the smart city um, recognition came from the DOST uh, by then Secretary M M Mario Montejo. He was mm -hmm. the one who really um, saw that Hawaiian City was um, adapting or was uh, uh, the best place that he, they could um, um, showcase uh, the technology that mm -hmm. is especially Filipino um, made. So one of the things that we did were, was uh, we put up their uh, it's called uh, one time. It's a one time uh, project, and it's an LED. Uh, what it displays normally is just a, a time. So the main, the main, the main um, uh, driver of that, or the main uh, vision of that program, was to have everybody on a limit, on a synchronized time. Uh, when you say let's meet at eight o'clock, everything's eight o'clock. Uh, but under that is an LED crawler that displays the weather updates. Mm. So we were the first ones to um, actually. Uh, implement that. So in all our 65 barangays, we had that uh, that uh, one time. And under that uh, under the time, which is the LED crawler, mm -hmm. aside from the weather updates that was being uh, flashed, so now the, the, the farmers would know if it's going to rain or not. Mm -hmm. uh, they know if they're going to put their their harvest. Is it been, uh, the, what they do here is binibilad nila sa kalsada. And then yeah. you see that in other provinces as well. But when, when it rains, then automatically sila na yan. But now they know na if it's going to rain or not. Mm -hmm. But we enhanced it in a way that we uh, we were also posting um, uh, how much the you know, uh, farm gate prices are, uh, how much uh, should be charged for uh, you know, yung bili na sa palay or sa corn. So those are the things that made it uh, smarter uh, because those one time were, were um, equipped with the uh, SIM card, so you can text. Like if I have a message, uh, I would just text, okay, at uh, this time or on Saturday, we'll have a, a medical mission. So all 65 million guys will have that same message. Ma so that's one example. Maiba ko, Mayor, um, you are known for your affinity with with the youth. Uh, the youth has a special place uh, that's reserved for, uh, in, your, in your heart. What's uh, your projects? with regard to youth development? Yeah, coming from the youth sector, uh, I came from an um, NGO that was uh, really a youth development uh, organization. Mm. And uh, the very first thing that we did at that time during my first term was to come up with the uh, Federation of School Government uh, uh, Officers because at that time, if you remember, tinanggal yung SK. Mm. So I I really felt bad that there was no representation coming from the youth in, in governance. So. That's one of the things that we did is we, we formed this group that composed of the student council of all the schools and I made them a recommendatory body uh, to all the policies and programs of the city government. So aside from doing projects, community projects, uh, planting activities, we're very, um, we're very strong in uh, promoting uh, sports and recreation. Eh, kumusta naman po ang kababaihan? Ano ba ang inyong mga programa? At saka ang mga kapatid sa federasyon. Ano ba naman ang oh. kwan? Kwan ba? Iniisnab nyo ba sila? Or kasali rin sila sa governance ninyo? But first about women. Ano po ang inyong yeah. gender and development project? Yeah, definitely. Um, in, in the city of Kauai, we have uh, been espousing uh, the global goals or the sustainable development goals. And uh, one of the goals is gender equality. Uh -huh. um, and that is why um, in the city government alone, uh, you'll find a lot of uh, 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 women leaders, women heads. Uh, we have a women, women's group. Uh, we call them Kawaiian City Green Ladies Organization, which is very, very strong um, in community um, programs and outreach. Um, um, they're very much involved uh, with, with, with our governance here. Uh, with regards to ating um, LGBT, yeah, LGBT group naman po, we have a um, group here that also is, uh, uh, they call themselves Bugay, so uh, sila po yung, they form their group na rin, and from time to time, they do community programs, outreach programs that is um, in cooperation or in partnership with the city government. Hindi sila Bugoy, sila yung Bugay. <laughs> That's what they call it, yeah, Bugay, yung group po po nila. Next up, how Kawayan Isabella is getting by in this time of COVID when we come back. Click, click, 
that's it Never thought self-service can be this slick Modify plans in a snap Walang hirap, it's a wrap Just tap the app Now you can check, view, subscribe, renew Help and support for you Out with the ring ring apps or the in thing You know what to do Globe at home and Globe One All in the Globe app na yan Self-service and easy to use Mas okay tayo dyan Globe at home and Globe One All in the Globe app na yan Instant response, no hold time pop Wala nang hintayan Download Globe at home and Globe One app All in the Globe app na yan Download the Globe One and Globe at home apps From Google Play Store and Apple App Store now Download Globe at home and Globe One app All in the Globe app na yan Before we took a short break, we asked Mayor Bernard D. how uh, Kawayan Isabella is holding up in this time of COVID. Uh, Mayor, how are you in this time of COVID and what are you hearing from your constituents? Well, uh, I think uh, no nobody would claim that they're good or mm -hmm. <laughs> better because there's really no playbook on, on how to deal with COVID-19. But mm -hmm. uh, we're, we're, we're really um, lucky that we didn't have any that, that big of an outbreak uh, compared to others. But, you know, again, this is something that is a uh, um, big challenge to any LGU. Uh, here in the city of Kauaian, we, we've launched, um, it also aligned with the SDGs, we, we launched Labing Pitong Hakbang uh, Sa Bawat Kauaian Nyo Laban Sa COVID-19. So this is just an awareness program that we do so that our constituents will be uh, well versed on uh, things uh, on what to do and what not to do. Uh, but we've implemented um, ordinances, uh, executive orders with the uh, face masks, with uh, wearing face shields, um, and all those uh, minimum health protocols. Uh, but one of the things also that we are catering is um, Kauaian is a melting pot. People come here for work, for uh, uh, market, for for all these things coming from the different parts of the province. And that's what we did. That's why what we did was uh, to put up a uh, QR code. So this is uh, something that uh, needs to be um, downloaded in, in, in the phones of the visiting citizens. Kung wala kayong uh, smartphone, in the checkpoints, we have uh, people that will print you your, your QR code. This will uh, help us in contact tracing and uh, uh, basically it goes in our system, whoever comes here at a given uh, time uh, and date. Uh, para sa ganun, if there's something or someone that gets uh, confirmed, it will be easy for us to do the digital contact tracing. So those are some of the things that we are implementing here in this book. Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of tourism, Mayor, what are the latest developments in Kawayan? Well, our tourist uh, attraction here is um, called Hacienda de San Luis. Uh, ito po ay, uh, this is... Isabella used to be a tobacco growing uh, province and that's why this particular place, Ashanta de San Luis, was where the first tobacco manufacturing plant was put up in the 1800s. Nung nandito po yung mga Kastila. So we, we put up, we have a museum there, we have some, uh, we have some uh, photos, some remnants of uh, uh, how, glory, how the glory days were in, uh, during the tobacco era. This is uh, something to uh, remind our kids or our future generation that uh, you know Isabella played a major role um, in the in the trade during uh, the 1800s uh, spe uh, specifically or particularly with tobacco and it's also in that area that we put up a science centrum uh, it's a collaboration with the department of science technology as well uh, so that our kids in the entire region won't have to go to Manila to my museum or any of those uh, uh, museums uh, to be able to be exposed mm -hmm. to science and technology. So these are some of the attractions that we have here in the city. Alam mo, yeah. Vernon, uh, ang Kawayan City is magaling ang mga yan, ano? Mm -hmm. So mayroon silang, the province has, has this annual festival, it's called Bambanti. Mm -hmm. Laging nananalo ang Kawayan. Ano po ba ang sekreto, Mayor? At ang galing-galing nyo sa, sa festival. Pati siya nakita ko, nagsayaw eh. 
Uh, I think it's uh, it's it's really the the unity of mga tao dito and those people behind uh, every time we join the Bambati Festival because uh, after that we have the Gawai Gawayan Festival and uh-huh. it's really conceptualizing the uh, yung, yung execution whether it be uh, about the booth whether it be about the dance uh, the story behind the dance so there's really a lot of uh, mind and uh, uh, effort that goes with it and sacrifices as well. Uh, lalo-lalo na po sa aming mga um, students uh, sa mga nagsasayaw as well as uh, uh, the laborers pagka, sa paggawa ng mga uh, booth namin. So I think I think it's a whole, it's a whole, it's not one person, but it's a whole uh, community of really doing and exerting extra effort uh, to, to, to be remarkable. Hmm. In terms of the environment, Mayor, uh, what are you doing to protect it? And uh, what are you doing in disaster risk reduction? Just as well. Yeah, again, we're still um, taking advantage of technology. Mm-hmm. One of the things we are implementing now, it's called the Digital Twin City. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're the first ones uh, to, to uh, use this because this is a program uh, for ASEAN. So this, this is a project that's funded by uh, WeGo. It's, uh, it's a group of, of uh, it's an organization for smart and sustainable uh, cities. So we're piloting it in three, um, three cities in uh, Southeast Asia. So one of it, one of it is Kauai City, uh, Jakarta, and Malaysia. So the digital twin city is a 3D map of the city, wherein we can use it to actually um, measure how much crop was damaged, what kind of crop uh, has uh, bacteria, or or what kind of uh, damage if there was a typhoon or. Uh, earthquake, we can measure the road or bridges that was damaged. If there's heavy rain, we can measure the uh, the length or the, the, the how fast the water grows from the river. So this is all. Uh, this um, this program uses AI, artificial intelligence, that uh, uh, can help us mitigate and uh, monitor whether it be your disaster preparedness or disaster mitigation, whether it be agricultural matters or affairs. Uh, whether it be um, uh, as simple as our engineering or planning officers. So this is uh, something that's uh, uh, very exciting for all LGUs, uh, digital twin cities. Iba talaga pag mm-hmm. bagets ang mayor, no? Mm-hmm. Very proactive. And forward thinking. Malibang pa sa gwapo. <laughs> yeah. You know, hindi lang siyang gwapo. Mm-hmm. Daddy niya gwapo, lolo niya gwapo. Yeah. Kaya may tatanong tayo about the family. But before that, we'll have a short break ulit. <laughs> Good morning, sir. How may I help you? Bakit kailangan ko pang pumunta sa bangko? Kung ano man, sir. Ba't kailangan pang pumunta sa bangko? Why not get a UB app? So you can do all these without going to the bank. Bank the way you live. Union Bank. Ang Philippine Offshore Gaming Operators o POGO ay isang legitimate business entity na nagbibigay serbisyo sa offshore gaming para lamang sa mga manlalarong nasa abroad sa pamamagitan ng internet. Ang mga serbisyong handog nito ay katulad ng casino games at sports betting na pwedeng laruin kahit wala sa casino. Sa Pilipinas, walang POGO Operators. Tanging POGO Service Providers lamang dahil nagaganap ang mga laro sa labas ng bansa. Alam mo si Mayor, ang kanyang grandfather mm-hmm. was the late Governor Faustino D, mm-hmm. who was governor for, for the longest time in Isabela. Mm-hmm. And then ang father naman niya was Benji, ano? si Governor Benji D, who, who was equally uh, very good sa, sa governance. But of course, iba naman ang style noon. Mm-hmm. So we'd like to find out from Mayor kung ano ba ang namanan niyo sa kanila at ano naman ang pinag-iba ninyo sa sa inyong mga forebears sa ukol sa usaping uh, local governance mas magaling ba kayo mas magaling sila well this is uh, very difficult uh, i am not uh, gotten any more difficult question than this <laughs> in, the, in the last seven years of my uh, governance but definitely po i think uh, yung naman natin sa kanila is uh, number one hindi yung pambab- 
Ay, hindi ko naman sabi. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, ang, ang, uh, one of the things I, I guess that was brought, uh, we were brought up to be people person, uh, whatever the people need, uh, nandiyan po bukas yung aming pinto, at uh, you, you really have to find time uh, to always listen. Hindi mo naman masolve yung, yung kanilang problema, uh, but definitely make time uh, to listen. So that's something I think that's very uh, valuable in, in all these years that we've been um, uh, doing our best as public servants. Uh, but I think one of the things na, that, that is uh, different is the landscape. Uh, like what I said earlier, um, we take here, uh, during my term, we take uh, and we use uh, technology and take advantage of it uh, very well. Unlike before, wala naman tayo mga Twitter, wala tayo Facebook, wala tayo social media. Um, now, um, it's easier to connect, easier, easier to engage with people because we have all this uh, technology available. Unlike before, during the, my Lolo's time or my dad's time, talagang person to person, as in individual to individual. I remember growing up when I was a kid, I would go, would step out of the room, nakatayo pa yung book mo, pagkatakang banyo, pero pag, pag bukas mo ng pinto, ang dami ng tao kagad no? So just imagine the the uh, the difference uh, then and now that you have to really physically face to face um, hear out the, the the concerns of all your constituents as uh, compared to now talagang uh, kahit pa na super mas dali mas madali yung buhay ngayon however during that time naman hindi rin ganoon kadami yung tao <laughs> so there's a lot of there's really a lot of ano, a lot of uh, uh, changes uh, but one thing that's for sure is uh, we really uh, have to make sure that we go out of our way and uh, listen to the uh, concerns of our people. Uh, how about you, Mayor, being a father and a, and, a, and a husband, and at that, you being as a mayor, um, do you see yourself as having shortcomings in terms of your, uh, your role in the family? And do you see your children uh taking up the same steps as you did oh yeah definitely i i i am um, guilty i really i being a father and a husband is mm -hmm. uh, very very hard or difficult if you're a public uh, servant mm -hmm. and that is why uh, i don't wish my kids to be uh in politics and i myself didn't want to be in politics for the same reason that my dad uh, didn't have time for us uh, he was always with the people uh, it just so happened that, uh, yeah, I'm already sitting in front of you, uh, and um, I, I try to make uh, up for the, the time uh, and and uh, you know the the time with my kids and my wife uh, as much as I can. Uh, that, that's why uh, I cannot wait to finish my term. I'm in my last two years. I'm marking down the calendar <laughs> para makabawi ko ako sa aking uh, pamilya. Ang wife ni Mayor is not a Filipina. Yeah. She is German. Mm -hmm. Kaya mabait yan eh. Takot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, takot. <laughs> Pero hindi naman. May matatakot ba naman? Matatakot ba naman si Mayor? Yeah. But he's really a gentleman. And mm. you know, kanya-kanya style naman yan eh. Mm. Kaya isa yan sa mga awards niya. Uh, a model husband. Yeah. Pero marami pa siyang ibang award Awards. Mayor, ano ho yung kwan, yung toy, ba't kayo nakatanggap ng 10 outstanding young men? At saka ano pa ba yung mga iba ninyong awards that you are proud of? Mm -hmm. oh, well, I think uh, the TYM is one of the things that, uh, uh, one of the, the best awards that I would say na, that uh, have a lot of value. Uh, and we were lucky that we were uh, nominated and we got it. Uh, basically, what was presented there was uh, how we are transforming Hawaii to be a smart and sustainable city. Mm -hmm. Basically, that has been my my uh, agenda, my vision in the last uh, seven years of my governance here in the city of Hawaii. Um, and uh, I think uh, TOY is very special because uh, I also come from the uh, Junior Chamber International or JCI, the, the, the award giving body. And ever since I was exposed to TOYM, looking at the roster of uh, the awardees, talagang, uh, you know, it gives us uh, so much inspiration and motivation to do more. And that's why uh, getting the award was uh, um, 
it was double, double. Uh, we had mixed emotions. Uh, one is you, you know, very happy and flattered to to get the award, but at the same time, uh, it the award means you know you have to really continue pursue and uh, uh, strive more to be better. Mm-hmm. So it's uh, it's it's um, it's it's really something that uh, every time I see the 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 award and you know it just gives me more motivation that I should do better and uh, you know um, to, to to be able to inspire the youth. Mayor, what are your plans for for the new normal and where do you see Kawayan is headed aside from you know down the path of it being a smart city? Well, we're embarking on uh, uh, digital economy now everything's going digital whether it be uh, class uh, digital education digital uh, payments uh, digital governance so i think in that way kawaiian city was uh, already kumbaga kawaiian city had a head start already because we've been doing it yeah. since, since the last uh, uh, seven years so uh, it's more of really polishing uh, and enhancing uh, what we have uh, for example in in education, we are using blended uh, learning. Since we have uh, free Wi-Fi in all our 65 barangays, uh, um, that's that's one of the options that we can do. But we're also lucky to have cable uh, TV here, so we dedicated one channel for for the students uh, as well as uh, for the far-flung areas, uh, barangays and barrios. We have also radio transmitters uh, given out so that uh, no no kid or no nobody would be left behind. Alam mo, ano, habang tumatagal si Mayor, no? uh-huh. lalong marami siyang projects na nagagawa. Uh-huh. Kaya kung ako sila, bibigyan ko pa ng one term si Mayor, <laughs> kahit lampas na. Of course. Of course. No? <laughs> Pero, <laughs> kaya lang, inisip ko rin, sarap talaga. Ma- habang tumatagal, lalong gumagawa po si Mayor. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Mayor, so we're, we're wrapping up. Uh-huh. It's been a pleasure. Uh, ano po ang gusto niyong sabihin sa mga taga-kawayan at hindi lang mga taga-kawayan kundi ang buong Pilipinas sapagkat sila po ay nanonood. Well, uh, we'd like to thank you uh, for uh, um, having us here in your show. Uh, again, this is not about uh, um, uh, just a personality but also about the entire city. Uh, what Kawayan is doing um, is very remarkable that, um, again, we always uh, take pride. If, if we can do it in the city of Kawayan uh, with, with everybody on board, with everybody's full cooperation, a poor rural setting in a highly agricultural uh, setting uh, can do all these uh, uh, smart initiatives. And not just that, but smart and sustainable um, journey. I think uh, there's no reason for other LGUs not to be able to follow suit. Uh, it's very important for us to uh, make sure that uh, our programs and projects are sustainable. Um, especially now during times of pandemic, there's no blueprint, there's no uh, playbook on how to address this. But what's important is we keep that innovation, we keep the technology, and we are engaged with the citizenry to be able to, you know, um, harness. Uh, uh, the the talents that we have and again I am thankful grateful salamat po sa Straight Talk uh, for giving Kawhi City a chance uh, to be part of your show and uh, I hope we all see you in person and uh, we all get out of this uh, nightmare uh, of COVID-19 very soon I'm salamat po salamat po uh, Mayor thank you Mayor Bernard D D yeah Kawayan City of Isabela that's it for the, the, the day Straight Talk. I'm Vernon Velasco. I'm Jojo Silvestre. And this is Straight Talk. Straight Talk. Salamat po. Thank you po. <laughs>
catch the latest news on our website, tribune.net.ph, and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel, Tribune Now. The Daily Tribune is one with the nation in facing the COVID-19 crisis, and in line with this, the Daily Tribune Digital Edition on Press Reader is now available for free online. You can also download the Daily Tribune app on Apple Store for iOS users and Google Play for Android users to get the latest and most comprehensive news online. Daily Tribune is also inviting everyone to join its community Viper Katribu to get updates on the freshest and hottest news and entertainment stories of the day. Tarsito emoticons are also available on our community Viber. Just click on the link in this video to join. Asawa, sabay kami natututo sa buhay. Sabay rin namin inaaral ng mga bayarin sa bahay. Kahit kami, nagtaka sa biglang laki ng electricity bill namin. Huwag pong mga bang maputulat. Sinisigurado ng Meralco na walang disconnection hanggang September. Estimated bills lang ang natanggap natin ng March, April, at para sa ilan, May. Dahil sa lockdown, isang tabi to para hindi na maguluhan. Ang May o June ay actual meter reading na. Kung May, nagka-actual reading, ibabawas dito ang huling reading bago mag-ECQ. Yan lang po ang ating babayaran hanggang tatlong buwang konsumo. Kung estimated reading sa May at June nagka-actual reading, ibabawas din dito ang huling reading bago mag-ECQ. Yan lang po ang ating babayaran hanggang apat na buwang konsumo. Walang labis. Tandaan! Kung ano lang na konsumo, yun lang ang babayaran. Ako po si Mateo G. At ako naman po si Sarji. G? G!